many people will be like oh i've submitted thousands of resumes i don't get called nothing nothing no reply not even an acknowledgement and so on and so forth now part of the reason might just be your fault why because employers here in canada use this word is called eight years meaning applicant tracking system with that software the employer helps the employer uses the ats to save out numerous resumes that they get now what they do they key in some keywords and if such keywords are not found in your resume it means you are out of luck why because even the employers might not even end up might end up not seeing the resume so many people use one particular resume to submit for different job openings which is not right when you are writing your resume you need to check out the company or the job responsibilities so that you can pick up some keywords that is in that job res uh, responsibilities and add it to your resume don't just use one resume to apply for three or how many different types of jobs it won't work so now this is canada website i'll be discussing um how to write a good resume because so many people have been asking me to send them a sample of resume though i posted this earlier the do's and don'ts of writing your resume in my instagram page that was like last year or last year, if I'm not mistaken. So now, though I didn't explain much, I just posted it as a picture. So now I'm going to be explaining it one after the other, how to write a good resume. Okay, I will try as much as I can. Then if you have any question, you can just write it down in the comment section. Please don't send me an inbox because I barely go to my inbox. Okay, so number one do's when writing your resume keep your resume clear and concise you don't need to add so many things in your resume you just need to be specific on your skills what you can do you understand it should be clear and it should be concise don't use too many grammar or too many wordings in your resume number two proofread your resume numerous times i cannot overemphasize this if i am the owner of a company and i'm reading a resume and i'm seeing some errors i will first of all be like if you don't to take your time to read your resume to correct errors so how will you be good in my job so before submitting that resume you need to ensure that the spelling errors are corrected before submitting. Okay, then number three, limit your resume to two pages. Some people that I know give me their resume to go through. Some of them brought in three pages, some half page, some even four pages. Now, the maximum number of pages you can write is two pages or even one and a half you don't need too many things in your resume because these employers have many resumes okay so if they see your own is three pages they might just dump it understand so you just limit your resume to just two pages and emphasize on the skills the recent skills and not the ones that maybe you've gotten like 10 to 15 years back no so just emphasize on the recent experience and skills you have number four tailor your resume to suit the position you are applying so this boils down to what i spoke earlier you don't just use one resume to be applying for different jobs no so if you uh, um, one resume you're talking about maybe you apply for what will I which example will I give now a communicator or a social media specialist and you're applying for a social media specialist for example 
you submitted a resume and you see another job for a different position you are still using that social media uh, specialist to submit for the other position it doesn't work that way so you have to specify or be specific in your resume do not use one resume to apply for different job always check the responsibilities of that job listing sometimes what i even notice there are some titles that are same titles but when you check the responsibilities you see that it's different it's different responsibilities so don't just pick up the title and see oh okay same title i can use the same resume to submit to the uh, to the job opening no always read the responsibilities so that you will know you can adjust your resume a little bit from the other one okay so what i usually do i use microsoft word i don't um convert mean i convert to pdf when i'm writing my resume but i leave the other one in words like a microsoft Word, where i can easily edit that's what i do when i'm looking for a job so that you don't need to start typing and typing and typing okay that's easy way just um, leave one in microsoft way word where you can easily edit the resume rather than converting the pdf and then deleting the microsoft word okay that's an easy way to um, edit your resume without the stress of writing everything back so always edit your resume to tally with the job responsibilities then the next point highlight what you have accomplished in fact this is another good boost in resume when an employer sees oh i've achieved i increased um i helped my previous um company to increase 70 percent sales and all that and please don't lie because at the end they might tell you to um bring reference from your previous company and this is why it's also good to maintain a good relationship in your previous company because some of the employers here in canada when they maybe they've offered you or they are about they want to consider you for a job offer they might tell you to get a reference from the other company to support what you have in your resume so always write your accomplishment accomplishment okay in your resume it helps to boost it as well as i'm explaining you guys can be reading through okay then be honest you need to be honest in your resume here in canada you know sometimes in nigeria we might um just do things anyhow and we can get away out of it but here in canada if you lie in your resume that you can do so 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 thing you can do so 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 thing you must actually prove when you start the work only you will get frustrated and then resign because since you say you are you have the skill to do this type of work they expect you you're bringing something very unique into the company so the employers might feel disappointed if whatever you wrote in your resume is not what you are actually so just be honest because you will actually work or bring in that skill that you said you have i have some friends that are in this situation they, they in fact they are so frustrated in the work right now so you need to be honest in whatever you're putting in your resume then quantify your achievement you use numbers like what i said don't just say i help my my company to increase sales i help my company to bring more customers i always make calls maybe you are applying for customer service say i always make calls always con quantify your achievement for example i make 100 outbound calls incoming calls or outbound incoming calls and outbound goals so you don't need to say i always make outbound calls okay how many outbound calls can you make daily 
you need to quantify it. And another thing is, if you're talking about helping your company to make sales, how many sales can you make? Maybe you're applying for sales and marketing. How many sales were you able to make for your company? Is it 70%, 50%? Always quantify it. Then the next is, use simple words and action verbs. You don't need to speak big, big grammar to, uh, um, like, Speaking big grammar just to impress the person that is reading, reading the resume. You know, employers here in Canada, sometimes they are not even the one reviewing the resume. They hire recruiters. Some of them hire recruiters. Their own work is just to go through your resume and the job responsibility mentioned and see if it's tallying with what you have in your resume. Sometimes they, they are not really specialized. I mean, the hiring recruiters, they are not really specialized in that field. So if you go on using big, big grammars in your resume, they might get confused and then dump your resume. You just need to use simple words and also an action verb like managed, led, developed, and all that. So don't use big, big grammars to impress anybody. Because even the big grammars might uh, uh, allow the hiring recruiter to drop your resume. Then the next is include unpaid work that show off your skills. Now, Canada does not really... Um, all they need is your skills, right? Whether it's paid or unpaid. Okay? You don't necessarily you need to get uh, paid for you to showcase that your skill if you know you are applying that's the more reason you have to check the responsibilities when you're applying for a job not just the um, job title so many people make mistakes there are some people that are so qualified for jobs but they will just be checking the job titles without checking responsibilities back in nigeria i noticed that my job title it's not even the same responsibility as in the job title here in Canada. When I looked, looked it up, it's not even the same responsibilities that I used to do in Nigeria. So when you are applying for a job, the job title might be different from what the responsibilities and the responsibilities might be different from what you used to know. So always check the responsibilities and you might just end up having those skills. You might have even worked with someone freely, voluntarily, and you acquired those skills. So with those skills, you should be able to apply for such job. It mustn't be paid job. A very simple skill that you have might lead you to a, a, a big job. So always check responsibilities when you are applying for the job. It will really, really help. Whether it's skills that you got from helping a friend or it's a paid skills, no matter what, just apply for the job if you have such skills, okay? Then, double check and include your contact information. Of course, you have to include your name, your email address, your phone number, and LinkedIn profile as well. My, my resume contains my uh, LinkedIn pro, um, link, where if you click on it, it will take you to my LinkedIn profile. So for people that don't really have a LinkedIn account, I will encourage you to get a LinkedIn account because these employers too, they can, they do background check. So in this century, I should expect like everybody to even have a LinkedIn account. So that when employers are looking at your resume, they should be able to do a background check on you to see if what you are saying is true or not. So that's another way to make the employers to even trust you. They'll do a small background check and employers uses, uses LinkedIn profile or LinkedIn accounts, okay, of people that they, are, they want to hire. So you just have to get a LinkedIn account and put in your past jobs, your skills and all that. So it's something that is okay. Then resume writing don'ts. There are some things you don't put on your resume. 
don't use an in oh before i go that i remembered something when you are writing your information there's nothing like um sex you know in nigeria we put this date of birth the sex and all that canada they don't need it even pictures they don't need that so don't bother to include that then resume writing don't don't use an inappropriate email address your last name your first name at gmail.com at yahoo.com or at anything.com but don't go and put your last name your first name maybe your year of birth maybe 1920 1930 for example veronica veronica 1920 at gmail.com so the employers may even mistake the 1920 to um tell them maybe you are indirectly telling them oh this is your day, uh, year or year of birth they might even mistake that so don't bother to put numbers so the official thing to do is your last name your first name then at yahoo.com or at gmail.com or whatever at school.uk and all that then don't include unnecessary personal information yeah which i mentioned earlier for example your age weight height marital status and all that they don't care even during the um maybe interview process in fact it's against the law canada law for an employer to start asking you it's inappropriate for an employer to start asking you how old are you okay and they are not meant to do that so it's called what well, uh, i've forgotten the term they I, I read it up one certain time i've forgotten the term they call it but they are not meant to ask do that so if for example an employer is asking you that you have the right to say i don't feel like discussing about my age or if they're asking you are you married or single or do you have children they are not you are not obligated to answer such questions okay then don't include a picture of yourself like i said before you don't need to include the picture in your resume you don't need that then don't use too many bullet points yeah when you're re listing out your skills or listing out the responsibilities you did in your previous job you don't need too many bullet points that will overwhelm the employers right just list like five to seven bullet points and those bullet points should be the one that matches with the job responsibilities as in those skills you're transferring from your previous job into your new job should be the one that is aligned with the responsibilities that is mentioned in the job opening okay so you don't need too many bullet points so that you don't get the the hiring recruiter will not be overwhelmed with so many bullet points then don't use personal pronouns i was this in my days my this is this or this no you don't use personal pronoun when you are writing your resume don't simply job don't simply list job responsibilities don't just go about listing job responsibilities like i i make calls as in trying to list out the responsibilities while you are listing out responsibilities you need to also put the achievement okay you need to put how for example okay let me give for example made 100 outbound calls which led to 50 percent increment in our customers you understand so when you are listing responsibilities always include your achievement what you achieve from doing that responsibility rather than say made 100 outbound calls you just put a full stop there no employers they, it doesn't say okay what is the result of the outbound calls is there achievement or you are just carrying phone and be making calls no achievement so you need to list responsibility and tell the 
tell them the results of what you did okay so don't make general statement you don't need a vague statement just make like for example what a uh, this place is saying responsible for improving efficiency and making cost savings it does not even make any sense if you just say responsible for improving efficiency and making cost savings this does not even give any information to the employer so you don't just make a general statement don't include reasons for leaving previous job you don't need to include those reasons in your resume if an employer happens to or a hiring a recruiter happens to eventually get you interviewed some of their interview question is why did you leave your previous job so that would be an opportunity to tell them the reason why you leave and uh, your previous job but please do not say anything negative about your company anyway that one is interview aspect okay so don't always include the reason for leaving previous jobs when you are writing your resume okay don't include references they don't need those references like i said earlier if they happen to employ you they will request for such references so don't bother to start writing the references i know in nigeria we used to write references after writing our resume we write reference call this number and blah, blah 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 they don't need it here in canada then don't include hobbies or interests they don't need it so except the hobby or interest is something that is related to the work but like me personally i don't bother to include anything hobbies or interests okay so that is it about resume do's and don'ts so if you have any question regarding this or maybe you need a sample you can send it um you can write it down in the comment section please not my embers i barely go to embers so always put it down in the comment section if you want like a sample or something but i know with this you should be able to write the resume without any yeah you can write your resume without any difficulty okay so guys bye for now